Okay, hi there guys and girls, it's the great and glorious, soon to be famous one day, Nick Dutch here yet again. I want to do a rather, I suppose in some ways it's an abnormal or odd video, because I'm going to talk in favour of theism. A lot of the anti-theist videos on YouTube focus on dogma, and they focus on doctrine. They don't focus on theism, which is the belief in a higher power or a variety of supernatural being. As far as finding evidence, hard, natural, scientific evidence for the existence of God, Jesus, Thor, Odin, Shiva, it can't be done. Nor does it have to be done. It's actually wrong to try and prove the existence of a supernatural being that is written of in uh, no, in the books of religion using natural science methods that's um, also it's intellectually flawed so the attacks against theism become the attacks against dog the theists make things worse through justifying beliefs through focusing on dogma and doctrine instead of the benefits that theism actually gives now I watched a TV program a while ago uh, and there was a, it was, it was a, one of those documentary style journalistic TV shows about one guy who was looking at the life of a professional spiritual healer and eventually debunking some of the claims of that particular spiritual healer. But they also had a look at other aspects of the whole, uh, in inverted commas, faith healing phenomena. And uh, they mentioned a scientific study in which a certain number of people, some of them were complete atheists and some of them were Catholic theists were put through the same experience, namely pain initiated by an electric shock. Brain scans of various different types were taken and it was proven, actually proven and statistically significant that those who were the Catholic theists had different parts of their brain activated when the pain response occurred and they felt less pain. And this showed that uh, there is some kind of brain activity benefit to being theistic to believe in a supernatural being, to have faith in God, Jesus, Mary, whatever it is, Odin, Thor, who cares, to the point whereby it can actually affect your mind. I would say that it would probably be beneficial to a human being to be theistic, to preserve sanity maybe in an ever-changing world, than to be atheistic. It doesn't matter whether God does exist or God does not exist. I mean, Although I personally do theistic activities, I don't believe in God, per se. I don't believe in religious things the way that religious people seem to. But I do tend to generate spiritual experience when I want to. Partially because it's fun, and, and partially because I can experiment with it. But I don't think I can be pigeonholed into any of the uh, categories of like theist, atheist, or agnostic. I just don't think it makes sense. Maybe I could be called an agnostic. But an agnostic who ge generates spiritual experience doesn't seem to fit, doesn't seem to, you know, fit the definition. So I'm not. When I do prayerful or meditative or spiritual exercises, I get some amazing sensations which could be useful. And that's why I, uh, that's one of the reasons why I, I do them. And so bearing in mind that um, brain activity experiment that was done on those Catholic theists who were given pain, and what I know from my experiences of developing spiritual experience deliberately. There must be some kind of real benefit that a human being can get from spiritual experience. It doesn't seem to matter which God you believe in. It doesn't seem to matter which spiritual paths you follow. So long as you can separate belief from natural science. Now, I accept, I mean, the word belief, it, the word believe is actually in, inappropriate, but I accept that the planet is billions of years old, I accept the existence of Darwinian evolution, I accept these things, I, I can't use the word belief. But when we're talking about religious type things and spiritual type things, I can at times choose to believe in these things and get the benefit from choosing to believe in them for a time and then throwing the belief away afterwards, whenever I want. So my challenge to those of you who attack theists, focus your attack much more upon what the theists get from their belief. Because that study I saw in TV showed me that there are some very real brain chemistry and 
brain metabolic activity benefits which can occur as a result of religion basically so all of you theists out there I'd encourage you carry on believing what you want it's good it's good for you we've got evidence for that but definitely separate the beliefs that you've got from the knowledge you've got of the natural world I mean one thing I object to about Mr. Dawkins is that he w I mean in one of his presentations I think it's here on YouTube somewhere he mentions the idea of militant atheism which I think is a bit over the top because if theism is actually good for you it's healthy there must be a way of expressing theism and teaching people about how to be theistic without losing the grounding in, um, in reality in the natural world and accepting natural science as real fact so yeah I personally will defend theism and I'll defend theists I would say there's some things wrong with atheism just because there's no evidence for the existence of God doesn't mean to say it's a good idea to not believe in God